welcome back, guys. We're at the portion of our show like we like to call the optimal concepts. And today for our optimal concepts, we want to talk about charitable giving. And October is considered the month to make a difference. And Craig, I know this is something that you hold near and dear to your heart. This is the fourth year that you have gone above and beyond to um, spread light and spread uh, kindness to um, all kinds of different uh, causes and then you can kind of take it from here, but um, fill us in on, on your version of what October is for you in the month to make a difference. So I actually started the, uh, the phrase month to make a difference in um, 2016. It was in response to the elections. It was a very divisive time. Everybody was screaming at everybody, Trump this, Hillary that, and everybody hated everybody. And it was just a, a disaster. And, you know, instead of what I wanted to do was I wanted to just turn off all social media. And that's hard for me because I have, you know, social media for Pinnacle Chiropractic. I have it for Kinetic Cream. I had it, I had it, I was too involved to just shut it off. Um, so I figured, well, what, what is a way that I can do something positive? So what I did was I came up with the phrase month to make a difference. And what I decided was that every single day in October, I was going to do something different above and beyond what I would normally do to try to, to make a difference, even if not in the world, inside of my sphere of influence. And, um, you know, you and I are fortunate. We have a little bit larger sphere of influence because we have our patients and we have, um, you know, large family, large friends, lots of people that we know on our social media um, and some high people that we've worked with. So I said, if I took those days, did something different, and instead of being the humble guy who doesn't want to tell anybody about it, I'm going to post about it. And the reason was not because... I wanted somebody to congratulate me or say what a good person I was or to pat myself on the back. I wanted to do it because I know that in my life, anytime I see or read something about a story where somebody did something positive, it inspires me to do the same. And again, with social media being such a place for negativity, I said, well, what if I could do something for the positivity part of it and share this story, share what I did, tell people, you know, even if it's a specific charity post a link up to the charity, say, you know, I donated today. I don't, it's, it doesn't have to be about money, but say what I did or where I directed my effort towards to bring some attention to that cause and hopefully inspire others to do the same. So again, this is going on my fourth year of it and I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty ready to do it again because social media is a tough place right now. A lot of negativity out there and I'm, I'm ready. So um, what you'll be seeing, and this will be on my personal stuff, uh, which, you know, it's really easy to find through our optimal function pages. You can find me personally, um, but I'll be putting it on my Facebook and my Instagram stuff. Everything will be hashtagged month to make a difference. And I'm going to be doing um, something different every single day. And uh, like I said, it does not have to be about money. So for instance, the first time that I did it, my first day, I took uh, I swung through Burger King and I grabbed 10 breakfast sandwiches and 10 waters. And I went around to downtown Cleveland. I took, grabbed the first 10 homeless people that I could see and I offered them breakfast and a water. I mean, it was really easy. It wasn't crazy. It wasn't hard. Um, I tried to be fair with everybody and you know, not put any preconditions on it. I didn't ask for proof. It's just, you know, if you're sitting there on the corner, I said, hey, man, you're hungry. You want some breakfast? Here you go. And uh, most of them were extremely grateful. Um, I, I know another time I was in a barber shop getting my son's haircut. And there were probably like 10 people in there. And I, and I told the people, I said, hey, listen, um, tell me what it'll cost for everybody in here. And I, I paid for all the haircuts. Um, That's really cool, man. That's awesome. Grabbed, uh, grabbed a college kid who was in line, I think, at a Chipotle or something, and bought his bought his Chipotle. You know, just little things, buying the buying the stuff behind you, paying the toll behind you, or just volunteering your time. Um, we have a skill of chiropractic, and, and if I ran up to a, a VA hospital or something and donated my time at, with chiropractic, I mean that's a little tougher because there's a lot of regulations with chiropractic, but 
you know, you have different skills. I'm, I'm a decent sized guy. If I go to work and help pick some crap up from and move it from one place to another that somebody else didn't have to do, it didn't cost me a penny, but I did something that, that helped. So, um, I really, really, I personally get a lot out of it. So, I mean, to be honest, it's a little bit selfish. I get self-fulfillment from it. So it's this double-edged, not a sword, I guess it's, it's positive on both sides. It's positive for me internally and it's positive for somebody else. And I just, I, I really hope that someday it catches on on a larger scale and it'd be great to see, you know, everybody taking that month and saying, you know what, let's go a little bit above and beyond. And I really think it could be a, a great thing. I feel like it's threefold because it's for you. It's for the person that you're helping helping and then by you putting it out there in social media it's going to spread like wildfire and maybe somebody's sitting at home and they're like dang maybe it's not october 1st but they're checking it out on october 10th you still got 21 days to go make a difference you know so um and like you mentioned off air you're not being vain by by putting it out there or saying it's about money it's just let's spread positivity because we surely know that social media and the news are all about what terrible happened last night or, you know, what's happening overseas or um, this person died or this disease is spreading. And it's like, you know what? Enough for that. Let's start our own news. You know, let's start spreading some light. Yeah. And I hope that, uh, I hope that every, everybody understands. And I think that most people agree. And you know what? I'll be honest. I've had a couple of people over the past couple of years who, who have come back and messaged me privately or, or whatever and said, you know what? Thank you for this. Um, it inspired me to do this or that. And they've done the same and, and posted it up. And um, that's really what I, what I look for in that. And if we can do something like that, you know, and even spread it along through, uh, through this channel that we have, how, how amazing. So super cool. Oh yeah. And you know, they name enough days and months, goofy things and it's national, you know, this or that. It's like, you know, why don't we have one day of just all of us being more human? you know, and taking care of each other. So that's pretty cool, man. Thanks for sharing that. No problem. All right. Well, we're going to come back with our final thoughts here. We'll be back in just one minute. 